BWTV. Hi, I'm Piper, and today's prayer and question is from Mrs. Peebles' homeroom. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please bow your heads and pray with me. Let us reflect on this Bible verse from Psalm 37, verse 4. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desire of your heart. Dear God, please give us the happiness in our hearts to let us be kind to others. Let us have courage to try new things and branch out to people we don't usually hang out with. In your name we pray, amen. Now over to the anchors for today's announcements. Good morning, middle school. Hi, I'm McKenna. And I'm Maya. Here are your announcements for Wednesday, February 6th. Today, Wesleyan Grill girls play the region tournament in, at 6.30 in Yancey, and the boys play at 8. Admission for this tournament is $5. Also, because of this tournament in the locker rooms, the in Yancey and Marchman will be closed to spring athletes and for PE starting at 2. If you want to give the hike a try, sign up for the Girls Wolf Trekkers hike this Saturday. Do not miss out on this opportunity to get out of nature, get some exercise, and have fellowship. Contact Ms. Shepard if you have any questions. Anyone who would like to be on the Literary Magazine team, email Ms. Kelleher. If you are on the team, you will be asked to come to tutorial or office hours to prove stories that have been submitted for the Literary Magazine. You will help decide which articles will be listed in the magazine. If this sounds interesting to you, email Ms. Kelleher at dkelleher. You will have your first meeting next Friday, next Tuesday, February 12th, during office hours, and you will begin to read stories and make your recommendations. I would like everyone that signs up to come to the first office hour meetings so we can talk about the details of your job. Thank you for considering joining the Literary Magazine. Girls Who Code begins tomorrow, February 7th from 3 to 4.30 p.m. in Chapman Library. The club is for girls in grades 6 through 12 with and without coding experience. Stop by on Tuesday, Thursday to check it out. There are projects available for students who enjoy fashion, music, art, game design, web design, and others. See Ms. Anderson in her office in the library for more details or email her at janderson at wesleyanschool.org. Reminder, we will have Spirit Day on Friday. Check the, email, the details in the email you received yesterday from Mr. Billing and be sure to let him know if you have any questions. The 7th and 8th grade homerooms that have one and out of uniform day for next Friday, February 15th are 7th grade Dr. McCoy and 8th grade Ms. Sanchez. Congratulations for having almost 100% of your homeroom at the Neon Night Social. This Friday night is a spirit night day for all grades, but you also have an out of uniform day next Friday as well. Please follow the guidelines for out of uniform day that we normally have, and today is a C day, so we will begin with period six. Before we go to the birthdays, we would want to give you a tip for finding the WWTV show on YouTube. Yesterday, we noticed it took about an hour for YouTube to load our, our show to the Wesleyan WWTV channel page. If this happens again, you can go into the search on YouTube and type in WWTV and the date you are looking for, like fe February 5th, 2019, and it will bring up the show. Sorry for the confusion. Con confusion yesterday and fingers crossed today it will load immediately to our WWTV channel page. So you can just click on the WWTV logo. Now, now over, over to, to the birthdays. birthdays. Hi, I'm Rihanna. And I'm Holland. Today we have two February 6th birthdays to announce, but no June 6th birthdays. Happy birthday to Taryn Young and Connor Morehouse who celebrate their birthdays today. We hope your birthday is a great day and you enjoyed your birthday shout out. Now over for the entertainment segment. Today for entertainment, we have a question submitted by Mrs. Peebles' home room. How many words does Scotland have for snow? A, three words. B, 664 words. C, 421 words. Or D, one word. If you answered C, 421 words, you are correct. Scotland has more than 400 words and expressions for snow. According to a project to compile a Scots thesaurus, academics have officially logged 421 terms, including snow, snow, sneasel, to begin to rain or snow, and skelf, a large snowflake. Now over for the lunch. Hi, I'm Bianca. And I'm Ann Bradley. Here's the lunch for today. For our entrees we will have chicken drumsticks, vegetarian Greek pitas, Roasted potatoes, steamed carrots, and steamed zucchini. 
For soups, we will have Italian wedding soup and tomato basil soup. For dessert, we will have assorted fresh baked cookies and ice cream novelties. Thank you to Mrs. People's Home Room for submitting the prayer and entertainment questions again today. Thank, Thank you, you for watching, watching WWTV and have a great day.